Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin, your endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Today we are talking about lentils. Lentils are amazing food for diabetics and here is why. Alright guys, well thank you for watching, make sure you give a thumbs up, make sure you like this video if you enjoy it, and then make sure you share this with other family members. This video is designed for diabetics, but the content and the information in this video can definitely help a lot of other people as well. So, lentils, let's start with diabetics. Is it good and why is it good? Well, number one, this lentil is amazing. We'll talk about the heart benefits and some other benefits, what is in the lentil later in the video. But first, why is it good for diabetics? Well, it's because it is low in glycemic index. If you have been watching our videos, our channel, you will know what glycemic index is. And if you didn't know, you either didn't watch enough or you're not a subscriber. So subscribe now. As I said, glycemic index is 32 which is great, you think about this, you have a glycemic index from 0 to 100. Now your potato, for example, is 110. A half a potato is enough to spike your blood sugar to sky. So like same thing with rice, glycemic index of 90, like a white rice. Remember, we have videos about all this, potatoes, rice, if you wanna go into detail about this, to watch the other videos we have. But I'm just comparing how your lentils compare. Now, uh, lentils are interesting. There are a variety of lentils, and I'll talk about that, how to really cook lentils and what type of lentils out there. If you didn't have a good experience with lentil before, doesn't mean that you will not because lentils are cooked in different ways. And same thing with a meat dish, you know, just because one meat dish is not that great, you don't enjoy it, doesn't mean that you stop eating meat. You know, of course, you know, you can just try something else, right? So true for pretty much any food but lentils can be very enjoyable and great food now what else think about this so one cup of lentil is 200 grams okay half a cup uh, let's say you're not gonna have you know just lentils let's say you're gonna have half a cup of lentils that is 100 grams now 100 grams of lentils okay that's uncooked all right so we have around 20 grams of carbohydrates now Eight grams of that is fiber, soluble fiber, which is very beneficial, and I'll tell you why. Eight grams of fiber, you have 20 grams of carbs, so you are left with only 12 grams of carbs. What else you are left with? You are left with nine grams of protein. So that's a lot of protein for a plant food. I'm telling you, there are a lot of guys that I see sometimes on YouTube or some friends and family members, they build muscle. These guys are plant-based guys, they go to the gym, they have these huge muscles, and they don't even touch the meat. They love lentil, because lentil is a great alternative to meat. When I was a child, my mom used to say, hey, you know, this cup of lentil is like a, a pound of meat. And I'll be like, mom, what are you talking about? I want meat, okay? <laughs> so you're a child, you don't know. But uh, my mom was smart. My mom was trying to make me eat more wholesome food, more healthy food, instead of just eating meat, 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 you know, trying to make you eat vegetables and lentils and so forth. And, and in Mediterranean countries, like in Turkey, uh, lentil is is something that everybody eats every week. It's it's, it's amazing. We uh, use red lentils uh, most of the time, you know, in Italy, Turkey, you know, Mediterranean countries have mostly red lentils. And they actually make it into soup and they actually, the red lentils will, will mush and will create this nice thick consistency. Now consistency is up to you, but the lentils will mush and will turn into a great soup. And you can find a variety of recipes, you can, whatever you put in there, uh, spices or whatever you want to enrich your lentils with, you can. And I have had so many different lentil soups and every time I have a lentil soup in a different place, it tastes different. So it's a very versatile food, depending on your taste, you can create your own soup. And it's actually very fast to cook. Uh, you just need a pressure cooker, typically that's what I do, uh, or my wife does. Uh, <laughs> so basically it, it is super fast, especially in a pressure cooker. Uh, if you want to just simmer it for a long time, that's fine. That works too. If you have time, just put it there, let it cook. But it's a very rich uh, source of uh, fiber as well. Now, the fiber is very good. Why? Because soluble fiber is what binds your 
LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. So if you eat a lot of lentil, you will reduce your LDL, your bad cholesterol, very easily. So just have a lentil, you know, twice a week maybe, you'll be good. Now, if you don't like the red lentils or, or a mush lentils or whatever, you can use uh, brown lentils. And brown lentils cook, they keep their shape, and you know, if you like that consistency, that will work as well. As, and then, you know, you can also use lentils as a side dish. It's very versatile. Just just maybe check other YouTube videos about lentils. See what people do about lentils, uh, how they cook lentils and so forth. But it's going to be amazing. You know, when you start using lentils, you're going to love it and your LDL cholesterol will go down. So your your sugar will be better maintained. Why? Because you have fiber, which slows down the absorption. You have protein, which slows down the absorption. So your blood sugar does not spike. Plus, you know, it's, it's not full of carbs either and then you have protein that comes with it so it makes you stay full longer so what else do we have in lentil that helps your heart that helps your immune system let's talk about that right now so lentils are rich in folate iron manganese phosphorus thiamine potassium vitamin b6 niacin zinc copper selenium so guys, there's so many vitamins and minerals in these lentils. Think about this, thiamine, there's thiamine in there, uh, ribofloavin. These are great things that helps diabetes. Remember the benfotiamine video? We talked about the benfotiamine supplementation because most, most diabetics don't like lentils. Most diabetics don't like vegetables, so they end up being deficient. Plus their blood sugars are so high, they kind of consume those minerals so fast and they need replacement. But if you were eating these, you may need less replacement. So lentils are a great source of these. Now selenium, for example, is amazing. We use selenium for thyroid patients because thyroid is an immune disease. You know, your immune system attacks your thyroid and so forth. And we give them a selenium supplementation and so forth. So it helps your immune system boost your immune system as well. So potassium, for example, in, in, in lentils are amazing and magnesium, calcium, all these things help to reduce your blood pressure as well. So if you remember my diabetic diet video, first I talk about the tripod phenomenon. In, in this phenomenon, what, what we are talking about there is that if, if you are controlling your diabetes, but you're ignoring your blood pressure or you're ignoring your cholesterol, think about like a tripod you know you fix one leg and then you or you fix two legs and one leg is not fixed you're gonna tilt you're gonna fall so in diabetes management we always make sure that your cholesterol is under control your diabetes under control your blood pressure under control so that you do not get damage to your tissues it's not just your blood sugar killing you it's the blood pressure and cholesterol as well so I hope that helped you guys. If it did, please make sure to give a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe, and guess what? We'll see you again.